Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. We are halfway through this week. How exciting is that? Today is May 6th. We are in the sixth day of May. Man, we are like a quarter of the way, almost halfway through this month. All right, so today we're gonna do sing and dance and we're gonna do a magic trick. Shh, it's a secret. And we're gonna have lots of fun. Are you ready? All right, so let's sing first about the weather. Are you ready? All right. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it windy? Is it snowy? Is it stormy out today? What's the weather like where you are? Put your binoculars on. I'm gonna look out my window, are you ready? It is cloudy, but sunny. Wow, so cool. Where it's, what's it like where you are? I'll give you 10 seconds, go to your window, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Did you figure it out? Yeah? Fantastic. That sounds like a really fun day. All right, so hopefully, if it's nice, you can get outside and play. All right, so let's read a story first, and then we'll do some music, all right? So this story is called My Family Four Floors Up. Up. So they probably live in an apartment. I live in an apartment. Do you? Maybe you live in a house. Mm. There are lots of different houses that we can live in. Looky here. Hello morning, yellow sun, yummy breakfast, days begun. Wow, so she gets that yummy breakfast. Hurry scurry, small brown pup, goodbye red door, four floors up. She's using her colors to describe what's around her, I love that. Hello sidewalk, many feet. Goodbye, Black Cat, City Street. Wow. That's super cool. Hello, Green Park, bright blue sky, swing, swing, swinging, way up high. Do you have a swing in your backyard? Yeah? You lucky duck. Speaking of ducks, goodbye, ducklings wobbling by. Hello, sand cake and pebble pie. So she's pretending to make food in the sandbox. Look at those baby ducks. Oh, they're beautiful. Gray clouds hover, all complain. Drip, drip, dripping in the rain. But what is she doing? It looks like she's trying to enjoy the rain. Putting her hand out, trying to feel it. Oh, so much fun. Goodbye, playground. Hurry, pup. Climb, climb, climbing, four floors up. Wow. Look at all those stairs. Would you want to walk up all those stairs? It could be fun. Hello, bubbles, rub-a-dub, splash, splash, splashing in the tub. Looks like her kitty's keeping her company. Wow. Goodbye, supper, every bite. One more story, snuggled tight. Looks like her puppy and her kitty had a really good dinner, too. Hello, pillow, soft, warm, and in bed. White moon shining overhead. Oh, she loves that soft pillow. Three friends settle, drift to sleep. Count, count, counting. Pink cloud sheep. Wow, pink cloud sheep. That is so cool. Curtains below, windows light, goodbye daytime, and hello night. Wow, so it is nighttime where she is now. Well, it sounds like she had a fantastic day, and now she is ready for bedtime. How exciting. All right. So, I have written a song for you all about your five senses. Do you want to listen to it? Yeah, maybe you can replay and sing with me. This is so much fun. I have my special floor drum, and this is going to help me keep my beat. 
like this. So this time, I'm gonna sing to that rhythm, all right? You ready? I have five senses, did you know? They come to us naturally, here we go. They're seen, that's what I do with my eyes. Sometimes glasses are needed to get by. They're smelling, that's what I do with my nose. Strong smells, sweet smells, and gross stinky toes. There's touching. That's what I do with my hands. Soft, bumpy, itchy, anywhere my fingers land. There's tasting. That's what I do with my tongue. Yummy, sour, spicy, it's all a lot of fun. There's hearing. That's what I do with my ears. Loud sounds, soft sounds are everywhere. We have five senses, did you know? They come to us naturally. Come on, let's go. Seeing, smelling, touching, tasting, and don't forget about hearing. It's quite a blessing. Five senses, five senses, that's what we've got. Use them while they're there before they're not. As we get older, some of those senses start to diminish. So go out and explore and ooh, use all of your five senses. Thanks for singing with me. That was a lot of fun. All right. Do you want to do a magic trick? Yeah? Okay. So this magic trick involves, I have to be careful, a bowl with some water. And I'm going to move my camera down a little so you can see better. Move my song peepers. Oh, they're falling. Okay. Ready? So let's put this down some. All right. And then we need markers. You can use normal markers. You could use uh, permanent markers, whichever you like. Paper towel. And then I have a piece of paper for under my paper towel just so I don't get it on the table. All right. So my bowl is a little bit smaller. You could use one of those elongated ones to actually fit a whole half um, sheet of paper towel. So I tore my paper towel down the middle. Whoops, we'll tear that guy off. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. My full paper towel, I tore it in half. So I'm going to fold it, right? We match those corners and we fold it. And then, I feel like you still can't see very well. All right, so and then I'm going to place it on that paper, right? Just so we don't get marker on the table. And I'm going to draw on it. So I have it folded. And I'm going to draw my house first. All right, can you draw a house? Yeah? I've got a door, I've got a window, I've got a roof. Maybe we'll draw a little water spout over here with maybe, I don't know, who climbs up that water spout? The itsy bitsy spider. We might be talking about him in a little bit too. All right, so I drew my house. Do you see that? Yeah. All right, so once you draw your first picture, open it. And see how, see I open, see how I kind of left the marks on the next one? That's important, you want that. So don't feel discouraged. Because on that second paper, I want you to add some special details. So maybe you could draw on this one, the sun above your house. Maybe that would be fun. Draw the sun. Remember though, if we color too hard in one spot with marker, what's gonna happen? It's gonna rip, okay? So always be gentle when we're coloring. We don't have to push hard. All right, and then I'm going to draw me in purple. I'm gonna draw me standing next to my house. I'll put a smiley face on me. I'll put my hair in a ponytail. Oh, look at that beautiful hair blowing in the wind. Look at that. All right, so I have my first one, and then when I opened it, I drew the rest of that. Right? I drew the rest of those details for my house. Now watch. You can go to your mom and dad and be like, Mom, I have a cool trick to show you. Put some water in your bowl and watch what happens when I put all of this in this bowl. Ready? <gasps> it appeared like magic. Shh. 
Little do they know that we actually drew that other picture underneath. But when the water gets that paper towel wet, then all of the ink goes to the top and you can see it on the top of your paper. Wow, that's a fun trick. So I hope you can go and draw a cool picture on your paper towel and show your mom and dad and have so much fun with that. All right, so I have one more story. And like I mentioned, it might be about a spider. And you might know part of this story. Yes, we might sing it all the time. This story is called what? The Itsy Bitsy Spider. There's more to it though. Are you ready? The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. But out came the sun and it dried up all that rain. So the Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the spout again. And Mr. Itsy, Itsy the spider, he says, here we go again. <gasps> but why does Itsy climb the spout? In case you have, or in any doubt. Because he spun his web up high so he can see the world go by. It's easy dropping to the floor, but climbing up is quite a chore. Can you see that? He has a really cool web up there. That's his house. Itsy Bitsy Spider doesn't like the rain. He's got his swimming goggles on. He won't get caught again. But just as he starts climbing up the water spout, another shower of rain falls down and washes Itsy out. Oh, poor Itsy. Oh, man. He said, uh-oh. Now Itsy's trying once again with his umbrella ready. The rain won't beat him this time if he thinks if he takes it nice and steady. Do you think it's gonna work? We'll see. There has to be another way to get home on a rainy day. I don't think the umbrella quite worked like Itsy was thinking. Oh, poor Itsy. Looking around, what's Itsy seen? A round bouncy trampoline. He's found a way to get home fast, but bounces high and flies straight past. Oh no! Over the hedge, over the wall, a striped tent breaks his fall. Looking puzzled, Itsy thinks he rubs his hairy head and blinks. Oh man, poor guy. He's trying so hard. Oops, sorry guys. The wash is drying, the weather's fine. Itsy wobbles on the line when suddenly a breezy breeze blows Itsy to some nearby trees. Oh man, he is trying so hard. Through the leaves, Itsy spies several pairs of beady eyes. But worse than that, Itsy squeaks a row of long and pointy beaks. Who's in that tree? Birds. Itsy's running all puffed out, but in the distance sees the spout. <gasps> he sees it out there in the distance. Oh my goodness. It's the best idea he's had all day. He'll climb the spout another way. The rain comes down inside the spout. So he'll climb up, not in, but out. So he's gonna climb on the outside. Back in his web, he's happy now. It's easy when you've worked out how. The lesson learned, don't wear a frown, even when the rain comes down. So Itsy Bitsy Spider can climb the water spout. And even if the rain pours down, it can't wash Itsy out. For Itsy Bitsy Spider has found another way. And now he's really easy and now it's really easy to climb the spout all day. He's got his umbrella to keep the raindrops off of his head. But instead of going up the spout on the inside, he's going up on the outside. Oh my goodness. Itsy figured that out. And so if you're having a hard time figuring things out, always remember there's another way. There's always another way. Alright, so. 
Are you ready? I thought this would be fun as well. So we've been talking about family, houses, all of that. So I thought we could learn some sign language that involves words of our family. So like mom, dad, sister, brother, grandma, grandpa. Would you like to learn those with me? Yeah? Okay. Are you ready? So it's super easy once you kind of catch that the girls have a certain place to start and the boys have a certain place to start. So no matter what the sign is with your hands, the girls are always going to start on your chin and the boys are going to start up here for these words, right? We're going to do mom, dad, brother, sister, grandma, and grandpa. Are you ready? Yeah? Okay. So for mom, we put our hand like a five and we put it on our chin and we go down. Mom. Mom. Wow. So what do you think we do for dad? What do you think? Whoops. Right. So we put our hand like our five. We put it on our forehead. Remember we talked girls are down here. Boys are up here. And we go, dad. Dad. Wow. All right. So for sister and brother, we're going to use the L shape. And then we're going to put an L down here as well. So this hand stays down here kind of by our chest. And this one, our sister, who's a girl, she starts on our chin. And we go down. Sister. Sister. Look at that. So where does brother start? Remember, he's a boy. He starts up here. Make your L's. Got brother. <gasps> brother. Wow, you did it. Oh my goodness. So good. Okay. So last two, grandma and grandpa. Are you ready? So for this one, we make our five again, right? Where's grandma going to start? On our chin. Yes. But when we do grandma, remember mom was this one. Grandma gets an extra bump. Watch. Five, chin, grandma, right? <gasps> grandma. We got two syllables, grandma. So where's grandpa gonna start? Up on our forehead, you make our five, we go grandpa, grandpa. You did it, oh my goodness. That's amazing and now you can practice those and be able to sign when this whole quarantine's over and grandma and grandpa come back over, you could show them. That's so fun. Fantastic job, guys. All right, so are you ready to dance? Because I have a very silly song called Dr. Knickerbocker, and we get to do our hands, our feet, our hips, our head. Oh, it's so fun. All right, so I'm going to scoot this back some so I can dance with you. Yes? All right. Now, I might not be as good of a dancer as you, so don't judge me. All right, you ready? So, Miss Cassandra will stand up. Here, we'll kind of do this this way. All right. Oops, I dropped something on the floor. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Nicker bucker, nicker bucker, number nine. I got a cough and a sneeze and I want to feel fine. Now let's put the rhythm in our hands. Now we've got the rhythm in our hands. To the front, to the back, to the side, side, side. To the front, to the back, to the side, side, side. To the side, to the side, to the side, to the side. To the side, to the side, to the side. Shuffle, 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 shuffle all night. Dr. Knickerbocker, Knickerbocker, number nine. I got a cough and a sneeze and I want to feel 
Miss Cassandra messed up one of those things, if you notice, but don't judge me because um, I don't like dancing in front of people except for you guys because you're my bestest friends. All right. Are you ready? So whew, I have had so much fun with you today. I am a little winded because that song, it took a lot of practice from me. So if you need to re-listen to it and practice, go for it. All right. So I hope you all had fun. I hope you all get to show your moms and dads our magic trick. I hope you get to use your sign language. Mom, dad, sister, brother, grandma, grandpa. Fantastic. I am so glad you joined me today, and I hope you've had as much fun as I did. Bye, guys.